Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I will be using a whole bunch of products from TJ Maxx and from Marshalls. You can find so many products at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and only pay half the price from what they originally are. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching the video and also make sure that you stay tuned towards the end of the video because I will be doing a giveaway for my thousand subscribers. If you guys want to learn how I got this look, just keep on watching and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to actually start off by putting on this hair clip that I bought from TJ Maxx. This was about $3.99 from Revive Beauty. You guys know that I usually like to use my hair, my headband to keep my hair out of the way. But in today's video, I'm going to be using these clips. They actually do grip pretty, pretty good. I do like that. Right now, it's 10 o'clock. Um, I do go to work during the night shift, so when I wake up, it's like nighttime. The reason is because I actually work a graveyard shift, and I get out at 7 o'clock in the morning, and I sleep pretty much throughout the day. I like to film when there's like natural light coming in, and right now there's no natural light because it's like totally black outside. Um, but hopefully this video turns out pretty good. You guys, let me know in the comments below if the quality is okay. You guys know that I love my Mario Badesco hydrating mist, but you guys, I recently picked up this Pearl Essence Coconut Water from TJ Maxx. This was $7.99, originally $11, and it's a hydrating mist for your face. And I'm gonna be using this for today, aside from using my Mario Badesco spray because I really love this one. And I actually sprayed this on myself when I was at TJ Maxx and you guys, the smell and the fragrance is so good. If you guys like coconut, you guys are gonna love this. It's uh, giving me that luminosity on my skin that I really love. So if you're looking for something like that, I definitely recommend it. I don't know if you're allergic to fragrance. I don't know if this is something that you should try, but I really love this. You guys would not believe that I found the Tatcha Moisturizer at TJ Maxx. And it was $29.99, you guys. This is one of the products that I was so, so stunned and so happy that I found at TJ Maxx. This was originally $43, but I'm not sure if the product price is the same on the box. I'm sure it's a lot more than what it says. This is a soothing triple recovery cream. It's a moisturizer. It's an anti-aging moisturizer. It says it's formulated with Japanese Indaijo and Sephora Japonica extracts and colloidal oatmeal to temporarily soothe irritated skin, including eczema and psoriasis. It has an expiration date on the back over here. So if you guys find this Tatcha water cream, make sure to check the expiration date on the back I do have a water cream from Tatcha, which I love, and this is what it looks like. So you guys can see how much I pretty much used out of this moisturizer. And it's pretty expensive, so when I found the Tatcha moisturizer, I was really, really happy because I was running out of my water cream, so I figured, why don't I try this moisturizer and see how it works? So this is how the inside looks like of the moisturizer, and it kind of has a purpley, bluish tinge to it. Let's try it on. I am going to apply a little bit on my hand. It doesn't seem to have a scent. It seems to be pretty, pretty scentless, if that's even a word. <laughs> right away, I do feel like it's a good cream, but it feels pretty sticky. My water cream does not feel like that at all. It feels pretty smooth when I apply it, but this actually has like a sticky layer to it, which could be good because sometimes when you do want to apply your makeup, you want to have that sticky layered so your foundation can stick better to your face and blend better so i'm definitely going to get a good use out of this so the next product that i found at i believe i found this at tj mac this is the prism palette from anastasia and this is the packaging you guys it's so pretty it has the logo anastasia beverly hills here the name prism palette right there it's all black feels very velvety. Those of you who are not familiar with the Anastasia brand, her palettes are really good. I feel like the eyeshadows um, work really nice. They have a lot of pigment, a lot of good payoff. They blend very nicely. And these are the colors. 
I'm gonna be using this for this tutorial and I am going to try to do my eyeshadow first and then apply my foundation just because sometimes the Anastasia brand can have a little bit of fallout and it can go get all over your face so I do recommend applying your eyeshadow first with this palette and then putting on your foundation because I think that's the best way to do it you guys I just recently picked up this Sigma professional brush kit I actually found this at Marshall for $69.99 originally worth $90 and it comes with a set of brushes 12 brushes this is one of the Sigma brushes that I've been using for quite a while this is the Sigma flat kabuki brush f80 I actually found this at my local Marshalls a while ago and I love this when I apply foundation especially foundations that are very thick and very hard to work with I love to apply this with that and that's why I definitely recommend Sigma brushes if you guys don't have it. And for this video, I'm gonna be using some of these Sigma brushes from here so you guys can see how they work, how they apply and all. Kinda of wanna go out of my comfort zone and do like a summer type of look, if you guys know what I mean. So I'm gonna take the color Eden. It's like a peachy color, it's really nice. And I'm using the Morphe R37 if you guys are wondering. This is just gonna be the transition for the whole eye look actually forgot to clean my brushes my morphe brushes which is why it looks kind of a little bit brown <laughs> you guys do that sometimes sometimes i do forget to clean my brushes and i can go like weeks without cleaning it i know it's it's pretty gross now i'm going to take this tapered brush this one's from sigma it's a tapered blending brush it's called the e40 brush if you guys can see and i am going to go in with the color parallel which is this brown shade right here it's a beautiful color and i'm going to work that into my crease and you want to definitely pack it at the outer v of your eye and then work it inwards i'm going to take the sigma e55 brush it's a flat brush so i'm gonna just pack that color right in the outer v and then we are going to pretty much go back to the sigma e40 I'm just going to blend that towards the inner part. So you should get something like this. You want to go back to your um, Morphe R37 brush, pick up the color Eden, and just blend that also in the inner part of the eye. To create my cut crease, I'm just going to use the same brush that I always use. Going in with the Prism palette, I'm going to use this color called Pyramid over here. And I'm going to apply that in the middle part of my eye. So you want to grab your finger and you just want to pat it down. Now we're going to go in with that yellow, yellow shade. So I'm going to take the Sigma F70 brush over here. It looks like this. And I'm going to take the color Sphere. And I'm just going to apply that in the inner part of my eye. Go back with the Pyramid. And just blend that we are going to go back to the Sigma e40 brush and I'm gonna take again the color parallel and we're just going to intensify that outer corner because I feel like we lost that darkness on the outer corner you want to make sure that you blend in and I just like to go a little bit further out just to give me that cat eye effect so I just pretty much apply my eyeliner. I'm going to go off camera, you guys, so that way I can finish my other eye. And then I'll be right back. So for my eyelashes, I decided to go in with the Lily Lashes. Um, if you guys are interested in finding Lily Lashes, I suggest you guys go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They definitely have it there. I always pick up my Lily Lashes from that store. I recently actually picked up the um, Style Miami, and this is how it looks like beautiful eyelash extension but for today's look i wanted to go more for a subtle eyelash look especially because i wanted the eyes to be shown and i wanted to go with the um, eyelashes london these are my favorite style i'm going to be applying this and i'm going to be using my dual eyelash glue it's a brush on um, adhesive for your eyelashes it dries pretty quickly and anytime i put it on my eyelash it stays put it doesn't come off doesn't rub off or anything like that okay and i will give it a little bit of a squeeze in the outer part there a little bit of a lift if i feel like it's falling down that'll just kind of bring your eyelashes up you can also curl your eyelashes 
I'm just gonna take my pore professional um, primer this is by benefits it's one of the best primers out there as well this has been like one of those primers that I have been using for a very long time before the hourglass you guys know that that is right now my favorite primer to use but I didn't have that on hand right now I kind of put it away so this is what I had near me so i recently picked up this foundation from tj maxx it's a little bit dirty because i actually wore it a couple times already um and this one's the burberry cashmere long lasting flawless soft matte foundation <sighs> that was a long word so this one was 29.99 and i got it because i've never had any burberry foundation i've had this on couple days ago and my foundation stayed put all day it kind of reminds me of the mac pro longwear foundation i don't know if you guys are familiar with that foundation it's pretty close to it and this actually lasts a very long time i really do enjoy it i love it um, and i got mine in the shade warm honey and it's supposed to give you like a soft matte finish so it definitely does give you a soft matte finish the packaging looks like this it's very simple has like that square sleek look it says the logo burberry right here and yeah it's not glass it feels like plastic it has a pump as well which is pretty good especially when you don't want to make a huge mess and there is one fluid ounce in this bottle now this foundation dries really really fast so you definitely have to work fast with this now you don't get a lot of coverage if you use a beauty sponge i'm gonna bring it down my neck just to tap it because it seems to be just a tap it dark on me but i felt like once the summer comes and i get a little bit of a tan it's definitely gonna um, be the perfect um, match for me when you guys use a foundation that's thick I prefer to use a brush. Brush just doesn't seem to swallow as much product as a beauty sponge to me. Now I'm going back to the Sigma Flat Kabuki brush. This one is F80. And you see like how easy it is that it blends in so fast. That's why I love using this Kabuki. The bristles are very, very dense and it's definitely going to glide the product all over your face much easier and it's just faster to me. I'm just gonna give you guys a close up on how it's looking. For my concealer, I'm going to take this one from Maybelline. It's the Fit Me Concealer in the shade Medium or 25. And I'm just going to put that all around my eyes. I like to go in down my nose. So now I'm going to take my powder. I'm going to take the Laura Mercier powder. This one is in translucent. It's a loose powder. If you guys are interested in buying this, I definitely recommend it. It's a really good powder to use. I'm going to use that underneath my eyes just to bake. And also to set my makeup. So you see the foundation was pretty dark, but now that we apply the concealer, it's not looking as dark as it was looking earlier so now we're gonna go back to the prism palette and i'm just gonna finish my under eye so i'm going to go in with the color dimension which is this beautiful shade i'm gonna take the morphe f36 brush and we're gonna also bring that in the inner corner right here and now i'm gonna take also the color osiris work that into the lower eyelid i'm gonna go in with my urban decay mascara this is also in perversion so the next product that i picked up is the chocolate soleil medium to deep matte bronzer by Too faced this is 12.99 compared to 17 dollars at tj maxx and i actually do enjoy this bronzer um i think i do have a sample of it that i've used before and I did like it, but I ran out of it. So when I seen this product at TJ Maxx, I was really excited too. And this is how the product looks like. And the inside looks like this. It smells straight up like chocolate. I see like there's some patchiness going around here, which I'm not really liking. It didn't do that before. I don't know if it's the foundation. So we'll just keep going. This is the Pixie Marianne palette that I picked up. It's a highlighting contour palette. I actually could have used that to do my contour. I should have showed you guys. Um, but let's just take a look at it. This was actually... How much was this? This was $7.99 at TJ Maxx. And these are the colors. 
really really nice I'm gonna take that middle this one over here this I don't know if it's a contour or bronzer I'm just gonna see how much intensity it gives me this highlight over here is what's calling my name but I'm gonna try that peachy blush over here and I'm gonna take this Sigma large powder brush and I'm gonna take that peachy color pick it up with that and put it on my cheeks Wow, that really has a little bit of shimmer. You guys see like the shimmer? Actually, I think this is actually a highlight and not a blush. But it looks like I think kind of got rid of the patchiness that it was doing there. Um, so now I'm going to take the M510 brush from Morphe. Now I'm going to take this highlight from the Pixie palette. So I do like the highlight. It's really nice. The palette is really nice actually. I love the way that the highlight is looking. It looks pretty intense. Because we have a lot of colors working with our eyes, we definitely don't want the lips to be too bold. Um, so that's why I kept it more nude. So I used the Anastasia Indie Color Strip. You can definitely find this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls for $7.99. And I love the Anastasia lipsticks. They're not bad. It's a little bit drying for the lips, but um, overall, I do enjoy it and I do love the consistency. I love that you get a really good color payoff. You don't have to apply this twice. I think only once works well. And then for my setting spray, you can definitely use the coconut water to set your foundation or to set everything. Um, but I'm just going to use my MAC Prep and Prime. This is just going to lock everything in place so that way your makeup does not move anywhere and you're out the door and your makeup will last a very, very long time. So I will be right back, you guys. I'm going to go change really quickly and then I'll be sharing my thoughts about these products all together and how they work. So I pretty much loved all the products, you guys, that I used for this makeup look. The only thing that I wasn't really a fan of was the bronzer by Too Faced. This one is a little bit too light for me, even though it says medium to deep skin tones. I just wasn't getting the intensity that I wanted out of this. I'm going to give it a try a few more times and I'll see how I feel about it and I'll let you guys know in an update. For those of you who have seen the video and are now here and you watched the whole thing, you guys have probably realized that there was a set of numbers here and there throughout the video. So the reason why I did that is because there's going to be a code for this giveaway. And for the code, make sure that you don't tell me in the comments below. Just keep it to yourself because at the end of the giveaway, I will pick a winner first and I will email you and I will ask you for the code. The reason why I did that is because I want somebody to win that has been watching my videos, has been commenting, subscribed, um, and just been very active on my channel rather than somebody who's just here just to win a prize. So that's the reason why I did it like that. So the giveaway is going to be actually through a website called Gleam. So now I wanna talk to you guys about what you're gonna win for the giveaway. So I'm gonna insert a picture of all the products that you're gonna win just on the side here for the giveaway. But I'll show you guys what you guys are gonna win. So the first product that I am going to give away is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. And I love this palette. I love the colors. You guys seen in the video how the colors work, how they blend. They're so beautiful. You can create beautiful summer looks. Um, and then the other thing that I am going to be giving away is this MAC brush kit. It's called the Nutcracker Sweet Essential Brush Kit. It comes with a blush brush, um, a taper brush for blending, and also a eyebrow brush. Um, so this is the brushes and it also comes with its own pouch so it opens up and it's magnetic and you can put your brushes over here. This is like a travel mini version for you guys to use when you're on the go and you want to apply your makeup really quickly and to put it in your purse. Um, and then the other thing that I am also going to be giving away is the NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Lip Kit in Mauve. This comes with a mechanical lip liner, comes with a lipstick, a cocoa uh, a whipped lip and cheek souffle and also a maroon jumbo lip pencil and um, the colors are really pretty um, the winner is going to receive the Miami dramatic eyelashes this one is from Lily Lashes is a Sephora collection I recently actually found this 
at Marshalls and I wanted one of you guys to have it and I love the packaging. It's so cute and gorgeous and I know this is like a very hard eyelash extension to find and I definitely wanted to include this in the giveaway and I was so happy that I actually recently found it so I hope you guys love this anyways I hope that you guys love this video and make sure that you subscribe to my channel comment down below let me know anything about you um, I love to get to know you make sure you turn your notification bell so you can be notified when I upload more videos thank you so 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 much for watching Mwah.